Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about uh, the PyTest INI configuration file and uh, how you can customize your testing framework. So basically any kind of project that you have is uh, supposed to have a test folder. So currently I'm, I'm in my testing folder and I would like to create a test folder. And let's say that I have a new folder inside the test folder called A. I have a new folder called B. And inside that folder, what I have is new file test A.py and test B.py. And inside these, what I could do is to basically from PyTest import mark and uh, create a mark dot body class and let's call this body test and we have the Let's say mark this B and def test body with the self assert true. So this is a class based test. And under the test A, what we can do, let me see my cheat sheet. So from by test import mark def test a assert true and at mark dot a let's just save it and if we go here we can issue the pi test command and basically what you see is that one test has passed and the test B didn't pass. So uh, in the root level of the folder what we can do is to create the following so pytest dot ini. Inside the pytest we need to have a section called pytest and here what we can do is to name the python files and this takes a regular expression so test underscore star will mean the test files that we would like to run and what we can do is to say that python classes is going to be equal to underscore uh, star test. And basically this means that anything with the test suffix is going to be executed. And the Python functions equal test underscore star is going to need the prefix. And what you see here as a warning is that uh, I didn't have specified the markers. So the markers is similar to a list. So markers equal new line tab. And I will say that a column, this is a test for a. And if we go back, we have the body and the B. So body, this is a test for body and B this is a test for B. Let's just save it and execute our PyTest and the warnings are gone. So <clears throat> depending on the PyTest uh, that you are basically using 
it is going to either issue the warning because the markers are like something that uh, become expected over the time or you will not see this warning so test b mark body b and uh, basically that was all i wanted to show you if you want you can go ahead and issue the pi test dash dash help and see what kind of arguments that you are able to pass but uh, that was all i wanted to show you in this video see you 